Hello there people, this is Christian. Welcome back to my computer in Fusion for 60. And in front of us we have two cones. Uh, simple cones, just turn them around. And you can see them are slightly different. There are some uh, large companies logo imprinted on the front of them. And to the left we have uh, what we end up if we use simply emboss. This is like you take a rectangular sticker and place it on a cone. And looking from the front it will become a slightly sad face shape. It looks nice, it depends on your design intent, of course. But sometimes we want the uh, vector file we're using to be slightly reshaped and fit like this. This workflow, like most of the things I do, are a bit stupid. It's not recommended. It's just to solve a problem. Uh, the thing I should put a small disclaimer is that, uh, from my understanding, this is supposed to be implemented in the boss feature in Fusion sometimes in the future. Don't know when. So that you can basically take a uh, vector file and emboss it and tell Fusion to make this transition so it becomes like this nicely. So this is not a project to surface anything. This is reshaped the vector file to make it fit nicely on the cone. Uh, if you have better suggestions on how to do this, please share. And there are a lot of ways that this uh, workflow can fail. So there's no guarantees it will work if you have a too complicated... This is a very simple SVG or vector file. If you have a more complicated one, you might fail due to it. You'll be using a sheet metal bending back and forth to create the needed geometry. So I'm just going to run through the workflow. This is not a beginner's tutorial. You need to know your way around Fusion to make this work. But if you have any questions, please post in a comment and I try to explain what I'm doing. Create a new design. We can simply just going to create a cone. So we're going to do a circle. Let's do it 100. I'm going to extrude it. Hit either keyboard. It's 175 going to give it a taper angle by minus 10 degrees or okay we, yes leave minus 10 that's good so we have our basic cone shape open up our browser have a look hide the sketch so we have created a cone in this case as a bit lazy it's placed around the region if you don't have it placed like this you need to create an axis and some construction planes to help you but that's another discussion gonna hide the region for now let's get working so the first thing i'm going to do you should really put this in its own components i'm going to show you the step step one we want to unfold the face of this here so i'm going to create a new component uh, i'm going to call it cone unfold we're going to use the sheet metal functions to do that you can see fusion in this case i have set it so it changed the translucence of non-active components hope you can see things and i should give you a warning there is i don't think this is a bug but when i try to select faces later you might notice that the screen is flashing a lot so be prepared for that step one we have created our new component we have the body behind here Go over to the surface tool and select offset. You find I create. I move it up to the menu bar up here. So you offset, select, unselect chain selection, and select this face. You should only have the outside face, not the top of the bottle. Gonna hit OK. Now I can hide this first body here. Now I need to make a decision. So in this case, I want the uh, logo to be on the front. So I'm gonna look from the front. I'm gonna create a sketch on my top plane here. Hit P for project and project in this cone shape. Hit OK. Open up the bodies in our little here so we can hide that body. So what we now have, we have a top and the bottom of a cone. L for line. We can do it from the center line up here. Straight down here. And when you do a second line over here. And I will dimension this here. Uh, let's do 10 millimeters start with. We're going to lower this number later because we're going to split the cone. I want the split to be as small as possible. You can make it basically very, very small. But I like to start with it quite large because I need to select faces later. It makes it easier. Activate the cone. Do an E for extrude. Select this. Just pull it out so it goes through the body. Select, yeah, let's do it 100 millimeters. We're going to do a cut. And hit OK. So what we have done, we have cut uh, the cone. And one edge here is aligned to the center of the cone. If I look from the back here, I'm to the side. Hide the sketch for now. 
uh, here in the create is showing by surface tool we have a tool called ruled surface I'm gonna click on that change the type to tangent make sure chain selection is off otherwise we select all the edges of a surface body we only want this edge here the edge that is aligned to the center line of the body the cone body select that let's do that uh, let's do three millimeters for now so we get enough to play around with new body hit ok we now have two surface bodies I'm gonna select both of them you can see here it starts yeah i don't know why it turns white if that's a bug just in my software i need to reinstall or something like that but that's a different discussion hold down control select both bodies do a stitch and i hit ok and now i end up with one single surface body i'm going to do a thicken you find it create or you can the s key to find it select the surface body and of course, uh, this cone is offset from a uh, zero offset from the face of the cone. So this surface cone. So I want to make it inwards. It's going to minus one. Hit OK. That means if I turn on my previous body, I'm going to do Shift N just to see colors a bit better. So the inside cone here is aligned now with things. So like that. Uh, our surface body has done its work. So I'm going to select it, right click, and then do a remove. And I end up with this surface uh, solid body here. Now we're going to convert this into sheet metal. So just jump over to sheet metal, create. Uh, while you convert to sheet metal, I'm simply just going to select this uh, aluminum one millimeter. Yes, please. I don't care for now. We're going to change the sheet metal shortly. Like that. I'm going to do modify, unfold. I need to do this before I start to change things. I can change the sheet metal rules, but I need to, I'm going to change some uh, dimensions. Do another fold, select this face, hit OK. I will create a sketch while I'm here. Create a sketch on this new face I've created. P for project, project in uh, the unfolded part of a cone and this small part here. Hit OK. If I hide the body, should have a sketch that looks like this. I'm going to finish sketch and i will do uh where are you uh refold faces like that so i get back to where i am so with that said we're going to do some edits here now we're going to change the sheet metal rule because right now we have a k factor that's bending at 0 0.44 from the outside so we're going to change that to the k factor should be one save hit close which means when i fold the part the outside dimensions of its face will be maintained into the sketch and as i said earlier I have this really big large gap here that i'd like to remove now so we go into we can do this with using our change parameters we can go back and edit features but sometimes it's easier to just find the parameter we have cone unfold we have our where are you surface rule this was our little small flange here so let's make that 0 0.1 i will i want to still be able to select it later so i don't want to make it too thin for now you can make it even thinner later you can see about my updates and i know sketch we made this 10 millimeters wise it was 0 0.2 i'm gonna hit okay and just to check that things works i'm gonna go back and go forth yes we have everything functioning now really this body has done its work so i want to make my model a bit lighter i can do right click and do remove and just keep the sketch I'm going to go back to my top level check my body here so what we make basically done now we have created a sketch here that is the unfolded or flat pattern part of this face of the cone that's what this sketch is we're going to create a new component uh vector reshape is what i'm going to call it this is the component that is going to help us reshape the uh what do you say the svg file or vector file i'm gonna hit yeah it says steel let's do that we can hit okay it's gonna be sheet metal once again gonna open up gonna hide my first body i'm gonna hit e for extrude select the sketch this of course is part of another component but i don't care right now i need to do it like that because you need to refold the component before you can create a new component why did i expand that so you can select this and zoom in 
oh sorry and also find this zero point oh sorry it's a bit sensitive when you zoom in uh, this small 0 0.1 millimeter width width part here and once again i want to extrude it backwards so i maintain where i am so just do it minus one gonna hit okay gonna open up here i'm gonna go and create and do convert to sheet metal this is in our normal solid bodies we need to convert it into a sheet metal pass i'm gonna turn around uh, I'm going to hide the sketch. I can hide this cone unfold component now. An important thing now, I need to change, select this, oh sorry, this small face here. And you get these really large arrows here. It says it wants to convert it in that direction. I hit OK. And I can do a modify unfold. Select this little small flat here. Select the bend. Hit OK. And we have unfolded the unfolded face of cone now it starts to get confusing uh the thing now i just want to check here i have another i mean we are creating these two different components so i can have two different sheet metal rules and this one here the cone unfolded if the k factor was one and this one you can play around a bit i will simply make it now let's see steel that's one gonna change that to 0 0.5 gonna hit save you see the shape of this get a bit larger and you might just as well uh, change the name here unfold cone so we know which is which here and this is uh sorry yeah where are you vector vector reshape like that by applying a k factor of 0 0.5 that means that the center of this shape will not be changed for dimensions everything that's closer to the uh, edge down here that is the edge that earlier was i'm going to go back before let's re we can do refold every if you do k factor of a 0 0.5 that means that the center of this part here will be untouched Everything that's closer to the center of this shape will be shrink together, or push together. Everything that's outside will be stretched apart. Let's go back again. So let's create a sketch on this nice flat face. I will hit P for project, make it into construction and just select the face, hit OK. Hide the body for now. I just did this, I'm going to do line X so I can find approximately where the center of this shape is select all lines them into construction geometry like that this gives me if some uh, guidance on placing the vector file which i'm going to do now insert insert svg insert from computer and i have this uh, famous uh, swedish business svg here and it happens to be in correct action thank you gonna make it a bit larger i'm gonna move it up so i'm gonna place this in this kind in this this occasion center on the cone like that so place it this outer perimeter tells me how big i can make it i cannot make the uh, vector file larger than this format then it goes i mean over wrap the, the cone shape uh, i think i do it like that I hit okay gonna finish sketch turn on our previous uh, surface body gonna do an extrude and now I can select basically anything I want to extrude of this because this is just for creating yet another sketch later. Gonna select this here. Gonna select the letters here. Then I think I have all the geometry I need. I'm gonna do that one millimeter extrude. Gonna hit OK. Go in here and hide the sketch and do the refold. So this has reshaped the rectangular SVG into a slightly uh, arced one. So what I'm going to do now, we're going to create a sketch on this face here, P for project, and I will project in the geometry once again, because this is the sketch we're going to use for the boss. Going to finish sketch. This sheet metal body has done its work, so I can do a remove of that one. Turn on our cone body, move up to the root level of our design. And S on the keyboard and find our emboss command. Emboss. Select the which way direction. So we can do all of the ellipse. So we can do, I'm going to do it like the rectangular way, the same I did in the previous file. Depends on the SVG you have. And of course, all this transformation is 
very sensitive if the vector file is too complicated this will fail i'm sorry i can't solve that select this face number model run and you can see now if we've done everything correctly this will be placed in the front you can see the sketch earlier i placed it centered on that uh, unfolded sheet metal part and i'm going to do minus one i'm going to do the boss inside and by doing like this hit ok the sketch or the deboss should be placed as close let's do it autograph so I'm, loose. I'm so close as i can be to center from the front and the shape of the decal or, or the vector files is reshaped to fit nicely on the outside so of course if we go back and do the emboss here and do it slightly differently i think we can get a bit of a better result i'm going to deselect all of this if i select the over part not you go back go away that one and that one come on that part hit okay let's see what it looks like so if you have like an oval or lip shape like this because like nicely looking for the font it looks like the text is on a flat uh, part like that so i hope you can use this for something fun be prepared that it can fail a lot this is just like a intermediate uh, workflow for now before we get this implemented into the emboss command and it might be that the emboss command will not always work that's all that possibility so with that said take care see you around and goodbye